ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವೈಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚ ಲಂಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾ ವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಶ್ರೀನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನೋತಪಾಲಭವಾಪೌತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಭವಧೂಷ್ಮದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿ ಪಾಂ ಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕರಕಾಬಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ದಿ ನೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನೋಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ಪರಾನಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ ತಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
विपद नैव विपद संपद नैव संपद विपद विस्फरण विष्णु संपद नारायण स्थिति विपद नैव विपद संपद नैव संपद विपद विस्फरण विष्णु संपद नारायण स्मृति गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत भगवान परमश जगत गुरु सेट दैट वी वांट वी वांट द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान एंड गुरु वैष्णव वी वांट और नॉट टू टेस्ट इट भगवान सेंडिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन आवर लाइफ डेंजर इन आवर लाइफ गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु सेट दैट वी वांट द लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव भगवान और नॉट टू टेस्ट इट भगवान ऑलवेज सेंडिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डेंजरस सिचुएशन इन आवर लाइफ बाय दिस सिचुएशन इट इज टेस्टेड that we bhagwan we want bhagwan or don't want bhagwan bonded soul by his personal effort can never go out of problem bonded soul out of his personal effort can never find any perfect solution bonded soul Out of his personal effort, can never find any perfect solution. Only they can try. In the name of perfect solution, they can just do the opposite. Just they can do opposite. They can invite more and more problem in their life. That's why Pope was speaking. Bonded soul by their personal effort can never. एरेंज एब्सुलूट मंगल परम मंगल दे उल हैव टू डिपेंड अपॉन गुरु वैष्णव भगवान अदरवाइज दे कैन नॉट द सिमटम ऑफ ए प्योर डिबोटी दैट दे कैन नॉट हैव एनी कंप्लेन इन दियर लाइफ इज द सिमटम ऑफ ए प्योर डिबोटी प्योर डिबोटी कैन नेवर फाइन एनी फॉल्ट विथ एनी बॉडी एनी कॉम्प्लेन The sloka I started with is common sloka. In Vindavan, everywhere we are speaking. What is what we think danger? What we think danger at present? That is actually not danger. We think I am put into dangerous situation. What to do now? But actually, actually, it is not danger. It is not danger at all. and when you are think when you are feeling comfortable with huge amount of money security everything all your body security future secured already that is also not your not your you know good condition you think it is good and that is bad actually main problem is that we forget bhagwan The stroke speaking, bipodo noi ba bipodo. What do you think danger? It is not at all danger. What do you think is very nice situation, comfortable? I am secured. It's not at all that. When you are going to forget Krishna, Bhagwan, that is called actual danger. Anti me Narayana Sriti. When we can forget Bhagwan, that is called actual danger. that is why you can see when kurukshetra bottle was were everything over then bhagwan sri krishna wanted to go away to darika he wanted to take preparation but kunti devi cannot allow well why now all all problems over allow me to go to daruka Everything is over, battle over, everything all problem over. 
Kuntita is speaking, no. Problem is just now starting. Problem not over. Now actually problem starting. You are going to secure our life, everything. We are enjoying total sovereignty, everything. Rasya Yoga over everything. Now we can forget you. That is the main problem. That's why Kunti Devi is asking, we, I want to get so many problems in my life. Vipadaho Shantu Tattva Tattva Jagat Guru. You arrange the situation in such a way so that I can get one after another problem in my life. If problem coming, then surely I can remember you, Bhagavan. And you can come from Dharuka to protect us. We can get your association. That's why Kunti Devi is speaking that we want to get danger, one after another, danger. Actually, common people cannot think what is bondage, what is, you know, free condition, they cannot realize. Actually, Naraj, in front of Naraji Maharaj, Vasudevji is speaking, that in in a hotel or in a, in 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 you know in where all those were travelling from one place to another for the for only for night time they are staying in one place you know that is called they are taking rest night time morning time they are going Basudevji Maharaj speaking. Sri Putto Bandava Sangamaha Panto Sangama. Panto, you know, Panto Sala. In Sanskrit and Bengali, we say Panto Sala. Our life is like one, uh, what do you say, guest house or what do you say, inn, where we are taking rest. After that, we can go to different places only. This is our life. All our Father, mother, friend, wife, children, grandson, all this kind of condition. Someday we are staying together. After that, when I when I, I need to go away, I can go away. When you need to go, you can go away. I can remember many times I went to Himalayan Hill. When I was going to uh, Kedarnath, Kedarnath. That time, I was bound to take rest in a lodge. It's not lodge, free of cost. Those uh, Sadhu Guru Vishnu, they can come and take rest night time. And morning time, you can go. I took rest there. Just in the late afternoon time, I entered there. I meet with some Sadhu from different Sampradaya. They discuss with me something. I was watching the beauty of Himalayan hill, so the nature, how Alakananda coming dangerous way, Mandakini, I was watching. I was feeling who I am. Some sadhu came in front of me. We discussed some Siddhanta Vichar, everything. We exchanged some view, loveful. In the morning time, I go up and those sadhus go down. So many things we discussed, but I cannot meet with that sadhu anymore. Gone for gone. In the sea beach you can find, there is sand is there. One sand is embracing another sand. In the sea beach, there is sea beach. See, which there is sand, one sand going to embrace with each other. Suddenly one big wind coming, the sand fly here, that sand can never come in contact with that sand. That is our life. But still, we cannot go out of Maya. That is the, that is the main problem. Somebody asking that why in the life of Vaishnavas, 
those who are Vaishnavas, so many problem coming. Those who are devotees of Bhagavan, actual devotees, in their life so many problems coming. Somebody asking, I say it is quite natural. Bhagavan going to send problem to them and through them Bhagavan want to prove that they are in danger but they never request me that you send me. Like the case of Panchapanda. In the life of Panchapanda, you cannot find any moment when they wanted to request, when they wanted to request, Bhagavan, you save us. All the way problem. Right from the beginning, Pandu gone, they are helpless, and on the Dhritarashtra, playing some game, wanted to kill those small boys by giving poison, this, that, whole life. Even unnecessarily sent to exile, unnecessary. So this way, all the time, Bhagavan wanted to arrange different kind of problem in their life. But still, Panchabandhav, their neighbors wanted to say that we are in problem, why you are not selling? Why you are, why you are not helping us? It's not. This way, the symptom of pure devotees is like Paramahansa. Here, up to yesterday, you can remember I was discussing how by Shattik Seva, how by Shattik Seva you can develop your Shattik Gun inside you. By Shattik Seva, gradually you can increase your Shattik Gun. And Shattik Gun increasing means is very good. Someday you can come in contact with Guru Vaishnava, then you can get actual benefit, I mean bhakti, absolute benefit you can get. So, this way, one day, actually Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking to Uddhav, Brahma was in some confusion one day. Brahma was in confusion one day. Those Chatusham, is first son, Chatusham, Sanandu 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 Kumar. Chatusham wanted to ask one question in front of Brahmaji. They are asking that why matter entered into Chitta? Mane why matter entered into Chitta and Chitta is also feeling attraction for matter? Chitta Vishayate Prabhishto, Vishay Chitta Prabhishto. How Chitta feeling attraction for matter, how matter entering into Chitta. This kind of question actually Chotoshan wanted to put in front of Brahmaji. That time Brahmaji was busy thinking some other things because he is busy with creation. Huh? Creation means actually. Rajo. Creation means Rajogu and destruction means Tamagun. So Brahma is busy with some Rajogun. Of course, we cannot say that Brahma is busy with Rajogun, so Brahma is useless. We cannot say. Actually, Bhagavan giving this seva to him, he is bound to do. Brahma is Rajoguna Vibhavito. He is bound to take the responsibility of maintaining this creation, I mean Rajagun. I mean Rajagun Adhishtati Devota is Brahma. And Tamagun Adhishtati Devota is Shankar. Tamagun Adhishtati Devota is Shankar. That doesn't, that doesn't mean Shankar is fallen. Shankar is bound to take the responsibility given by Bhagavan. So he is like one Vaishnava, he is doing service as a police commissioner. He is a Vaishnava. Then what to do? He will have to take the aprom of police, he will have to chase you know, all evil activities. It's quite natural. Common people think that all the same. 
all Vaishnavas and material people all same. They think so. Actually, they cannot understand the position of Guru Vaishnava. Point is that one day, one day, one officer writing one letter to his brother one day in his office, leisure time. After writing this letter, that time, long time, there was no mobile, nothing. It is one dream, that time. After writing, his friend, colleague coming to meet with him in the room, talking, discussing something, and speaking, you are writing one letter? Well, yes. To whom? Well, to my brother. After discussion is over, he is requesting friend, you are going outside, you drop the letter in the, in the, in the post box. Okay. He is taking the letter in hand and friend, no problem, no secrets, ready. It is written to Sudip Chakravarti, Alipu Central Jail, Calcutta 27, Alipu. Writing. Similarly, he becomes surprised. Your brother is in jail. Eh? Then, officer speaking, yes, he is in jail. But not as a criminal. He is a jailer of that jail. He is taking control of the jail. Similarly, or Vaishnavas, Guru Vaishnava, it seems, they See, they are in this material world, same. We are also, they are also, they are sleeping, we are also sleeping, eating everything. They are griyasto sometimes, we are also griyasto, but not same nothing. It's a havoc difference. They are aprakito, they are leading their life, each and, each and every of their action is related with Krishna. So, we cannot say. So, Nimna ganam yatha ganga devanam achyuto yatha vaishnavanam yatha sambhu purananam tuidam bhagavatam. It is written in Bhagavatam. Like all river among all rivers, Nimna ganam yatha ganga. Jamuna we cannot compare because Jamuna is a personal matter of Golokdham. Jamuna is separate. All other Vaikuntha nadi can be there. But Jamuna is totally separate. Cannot come here. So Nimna Ganam Jatha Ganga among all rivers, we can give first place to Ganga. Nimna Ganam Jatha Ganga. And Devanam Achyuto Jatha. About all Deva, Achyuto is in his own glory. All is Achyuto means never displaced from his own position. Achyuto. Nimna ganam jatha ganga, devanam achyuto jatha, or Vaishnavanam jatha sambhu. Among all Vaishnavas, Shambhu is Vaishnav Raj, king. Shambhu is Vaishnav Raj. Lingva Raj, you know, in Bhubaneswar. Lingva Raj, in Vyod Bhagavatam, is also there, detailed discussion about it. Lingva Raj. So, Shankar Bhagavan is Vaishnav Raj. Of course, we are not going to compare Shankar Bhagavan with all Brajavasis. Brajavasis is separate. About all, because Brajavasis is the personal associates of Bhagavan. So, about Shankar, it is written, Nimna Ganam Jatha Ganga Devanam Achyuta Jatha Vaishnavanam Jatha Sambhu Purananam Tidha Bhagavata. So, among all Vaishnavas, Shankar is topmost. Somebody speaking, Brahma has done some mistake, this uh, in open sava, we have seen. I go out from the sava. One senior devotee, sannyasi, acharya, speaking all rubbish against Brahma in South India, somewhere place, all speaking rubbish. He don't know that Brahma is our Previous Acharya, na? Brahma. Brahma is happy. Krishna is the Chaturbhuk, Hai Krishna. They forget that Brahma is the first person to receive Kipa from Krishna. And Krishna was bound to show his own Sarup, everything. 
जवान हम यथा भाव यद रूप गुण कर्म कह तथा विज्ञान में सुते मद अनुग्रह ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट जवान हम हाउ आई एम व्हाट इज माय नेचर व्हाट इज माय लीला व्हाट इज माय धाम ऑल स्पेशलिटी यू कैन डेवलप ऑन नॉलेज बाय माय मर्सी फलो जवान हम यथा भाव यद रूप गुण कर्म कह तथा विज्ञान हम अस्तु ते ऑल नॉलेज यू कैन डेवलप बाय माय तो इफ समबॉडी गोइंग टू डेवलप ऑल कृष्ण तत्व इन फुल डिटेल्स इज माय क्वेश्चन टू यू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू डेवलप कृष्ण तत्व फुल कृष्ण तत्व तो आई कैन से यू आर इडियट इज पॉसिबल फॉर मी बिकॉज इन चैतन्य चुत में इज रिटीन कि जे कृष्ण तत्व बेता से गुरु है हु इज नो इन कृष्ण तत्व इज गुरु हि इज गुरु हाउ यू कैन स्पीक ऑल राब इज टू दे स्पीकिंग Brahma running after his, you know, daughter. These so many, they don't understand. They criticize best day. It is their nature. They cannot under. They can never understand anything, openly. Sava, I go away from the Sava because Vaishnav Ninda, and some in Vrindavan they fight. That how we can say that Brahma is having Rasa Tattva, no Rasa Tattva Brahma. I say, how possible? How possible? Whereas Brahma is the first person, personality, to receive Kam Gayatri. You can Brahma Sangita. You can go. They forget. If somebody get him Kam Gayatri Kam Beach, what do you mean by Kam Gayatri Kam? You know the meaning. What is the meaning of Kam Gayatri? What is the utility? Why Bhagwan, Bhagwan gone mad to give Kam Gayatri Kam Beach to Brahma? Has some reason, na? But they don't understand. We are getting Kam Gayatri Kam Beach twenty four hour from Brahma. So if Brahma getting this thing, that is the that is the source of Rasatatta, na? Kam Gayatri Kam Beach. What is this? Kam Kam mean? You have some. Loveful relationship, but they are explaining this way all different. They don't understand. Brahma is given responsibility by Bhagwan to maintain this. That's why they are. But they don't understand. They speak all rubbish. Here we see Shonokadi Rishi. They are asking to father this question. It's very important question. Then Brahma was busy with some activity, something, some problem there, because he is going to deal with some, you know, material creation. That time, Brahma could not trace out the origin of this question. That time, Brahma could not trace out the origin of this question. That's why he was thinking, if I cannot give answer to my sons, they can think otherwise. So he took shelter unto the lotus feet of Bhagwan. He took shelter unto the lotus feet of Bhagwan, and immediately Bhagwan appeared. There was one big lake, big lake, big lake, water lake. There Bhagwan came in the form of a swan. Bhagwan coming in the form immediately. And in front of them, want to speak something, act strange activities. So Chotusan is not ordinary man. Chotusan started asking, "Who are you?" Because Chotusan is not ordinary man. Chotusan could realize in the form of swan somebody coming. Otherwise, nobody can ask a swan, "Who are you?" Who can ask? You can ask a bird. Who are you? Chotu Chusan has some I, some special darshan. They could not realize this Bhagwan, but still they could realize something. Uh, somebody coming in the form, then asking, "Who are you?" First of all, Chotu Chusan asking. First of all, Chotu Chusan asking to the swan that who are you? Then Chotu Chusan speaking to them. 
This your question, what question you are putting in front of me? Is it good? It is right, appropriate? Because who is there? In the infinity world, you think you have a separate personality, you have some identity, you are maintaining some ego. Surely, everybody have. One professor, one scientist, one, everybody, they have some respective. Because if ego is not there, there you cannot find any material sansar. By this ego, there is bondage, by chain it is there. That is why you are taking care of your grandson, you are taking care of your father, mother. If bondage is not there, he is my father. So you have a response. Actually, who is your father? If I ask you, because life after life you are taking in Kirtan also, every life you are getting father and mother. In Kirtan, in Kirtan, Bhakti Muttar writing, every life you are getting father and mother, but you are not getting Guru Vaishnav each and every life. That's why Bhakti Muttar writing, Pita Mata Loke Janma Janma Pai, all life. Guru Vaishnav Nahi Mile Bhajo Hiyai, from heart. You love them. Because Guru Vaishnava, every life, each and every life you can read. It's a matter of chance. Brahmanda, Brahmita, Kuno, Bhagavan, Jeev, Guru, Krishna, Prasad, Epai, Bhakti, Lab. But father, mother, if, you know, if one beast and bird, one snack, everybody getting, without father, mother, near no. But sometimes some special case happens. Sometimes some special case happen. Without father, mother, sometimes germinated. Like if you crude rice, you know, crude rice, not boiled rice. Crude rice, crude rice, if you keep for a long time in a place, for one year, two years, you can see the Scorpio develop from there. Scorpio develop. Sometimes it happens so. It's germinated automatically. Fungal infection, these are germinated. How? Father, mother, you cannot. But usually, without father, mother, nobody coming in this material world. Nobody coming. And sometimes a miracle happens. Like the mother of Basdev Goswami. She is taking birth from a peace. Uparichar Basu. By the birja uparichar vasu, in the womb of a big fish, did this, you know, mother of, mother of Vaisdev Goswami. Two birth. Shattavati, no? Two birth. Risha Singh Muni took, took birth from a deer. Follow. This was strange. Sometimes some in creation so strange thing cannot understand even. So usually we are taking birth from father and mother, but father, mother, friend, foe, all relationship is temporary. I mean for this life. After that you will have to get another mother and father, but still people cannot realize this fact. They cannot realize. So the first question, this one, I mean, Hamsarupi Bhagavan, asking to Chatusan, how you are putting this question? Who I am? This question is right, appropriate question. Because who is there? Except Brahma, nobody there. All around this infinity world, Prakit and Aprakit, in Prakit Jagat, in material world, in Aprakit Jagat, all. Nobody there except Brahma. So your question is okay. With which conception? With which conception you are putting this question? That is my question. Shamsha speaking. You think you have some separate identity? I have some separate identity? You think so? Otherwise, why you are putting this question? This way, First of all, Hangshu Bhagavan putting this question in front of Chatusham. 
And their question, now Chotushan like to give answer. Point is that, if I give you some oil, I give you some mustard oil. I like to give you some mustard oil. And I am going to give you some water. Follow? I ask you to mix oil and water. I give you one packet of mustard oil and give you one bucket of water. I request you, you just mix water and oil. I am requesting you. You can do it. Why not? Not possible. Water and oil can never be mixed. It can never be mixed. It's not possible. It's never possible. Similar thing of similar density can mix with water with water, milk with milk, mustard oil with mustard oil. That is possible. But density separate, viscosity, viscosity separate, everything separate. How you can mix? Not possible. It is not possible. Why Bhagavan coming in the form of swan? That is the first question. Bhagavan could come in different form, but not coming in the form of swan. Because it is the nature of swan, if you mix water and milk, their tongue is so, it is arranged, God gifted. It is God gifted. Automatically, if you mix uh, water and, and milk, they can touch and they can take the milk and water is water. How miracle! In whole creation, you cannot find even a single creation who can do it. Like the case of honeybees. We, you know the honey is available in flower. But still, you cannot do anything, I cannot do. It is not our duty. So this way, Bhagavan gradually wanted to give answer to their question. Bhagavan speaking, all your heart. Heart mean? What do you mean by heart? What do you mean by heart? I, I told you three days ago, Bhagavan speaking to Uddhav. Bhagavan speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, all your mind, intellect has nothing to do your, with your Atma. It is totally separate. I told three, four days ago. Your intellect, your mind has nothing to do with Atma. Atma is totally separate is not of same constituent because intellect, mind, all matter. And your Atma is pure, Chid Atma. So Bhagavan speaking that Chitta mean, Chitta mean, your, you have your material body, I mean gross body, first your gross body. After that inside you know it very well, you memorize it all the time. Is gross body and there is subtle body. Everybody knows. They memorize all the time. Oh, Maharaj, there is gross body, there is subtle body, fine body. But this fine body, in Shastra we say, this fine body is the cause of your next birth. When life after life you are taking birth, this subtle body is responsible for that. So the name of subtle body is Karan Sarir, Karan, mani cause. This is the cause of your next birth, next birth, next birth, still next birth, Karan Sarir. It's called Karan Sarir, Karan in Sanskrit and Bengali. It's the cause of your continuous uh, birth and death. It's called continuous birth and death. But the constituent of this Constituent of this subtle body is man, buddhi, chitto, ankar. Man, mind. It is the constituent. Man, mind, buddhi, intellect, chitta, and ankar. Already I told some time before that without ego, family, whole material world cannot run. Some ego must be there. Due to this false ego, this whole infinity world, I mean, material world is like a bonded condition, all chain condition. Whole world, like chain, chain wise, whole world has some reason. You can think in cold brain, 
if there is no ego, false ego, then material world cannot exist. Because of this false ego, you are developing affection and love for your children or grandson, you are developing automatically. If there is no question of any affection, affection means bondage. Affection is bondage, no? But without affection, without love, without false ego, whole material world can collapse. Material world is running due to this false ego, due to this affection, this infinity world, material world running. But the constituent of this fine body is man, mind, intellect, chitta, heart, and man, buddhi, chitta, ahankar, false ego. Actually, actually, antakaran, I mean the subtle body is one and single, but due to different, different function, different name we are bound to give. Shukshma sarir, Shukshma sarir is one and single, one. But due to different, different function, we are going to think that four different constituents. Man, buddhi, chitto, ahankar. Man, buddhi, chitto, ahankar. Chitto Mahaprabhu wanted to compare this chitta. Chitto Mahaprabhu wanted to compare with one, one mirror. Cheto darpana marjana. Mahaprabhu wanted to give example like Cheto darpana marjana. Mahaprabhu wanted to give this example. You can compare it with one mirror. Mirror, in front, in front of mirror, if you put any object, the reflection can come. Come, reflection can come. That's why Mahapu wanted to give this example, our heart can be compared with one mirror, bonded condition, mirror. So anything attractive you are watching, you can feel some attraction, like magnet. Chitta is like magnet can attack. And your mind, your mind can feel some vibration, wave. Like in a lake in the summer season. In a summer season, noon time, suppose there is no air. It's it like total suffocation, no air blowing. So one, wa one water leg if you watch, you can see it stands still like a mirror. If you take one stone and throw inside this leg, then you can immediately you can find some wave arising. If you throw one stove and stone chip, then immediately you can discover some wave arising and propagating here. Similarly, it is the nature of mind is sankalpa and vikalpa. Mind is, your mind is always busy with sankalpa and vikalpa. Vikal, sankalpa means sometimes you are taking decision and breaking. Vikalpa. Oh, not this. This way sankalpa, vikalpa is the function of your mind. Your mind always thinking, always different, different thing. And your intellect, your intellect is a director. Buddhi is a director, intellect. Mind in his confusion, what to do, what not to do. In my, inside mind, you can find one only wave, only determination, sankalpa and vikalpa. But the director, mind going to take decision, what to do, what not to do, right or wrong, whatever. Right and wrong in the sense according to a sanskar. If your sanskar is bad, you can take decision like Durjodhan, like Durjodhan told, I know dharma, but I don't like it. I, do, I know it is adharma, but still I cannot stop myself from doing it. Before death, when this thigh is broken, lying in a Kurukhetta battlefield, that time, in front of Krishna, Durjodhan was bound to speak the truth. Janami dharmam nochami pravritti. 
Janami Adharmam Nochome Nibritti Taya Rishikesa Hidis Titeno Yatha Nijuktosmi Tathakarum. Some significance is there. Durjodan speaking, I know what is Dharma, I know it, I have conception, but I don't like to follow it. I know what is Adharma, I should not do it, but I cannot stop myself doing that. I am bound to do it. I am bound to do it. So, accounting, so why Durjodan speaking? Same thing Arjun wanted to put, na? Arjun. Athakkena prajuktvayam papancharati purusha. Athakkena prajuktvayam, athakkena prajuktvayam papancharati purusha. Anichan nopi barseyo baladiva niyajita. That is the same question. Durjodan speaking this way. It's right. You remember in the morning time we are doing Gayatri Mantra, na? Prachodaya they are speaking. I am not speaking whole mantras. Prohibited to speak openly, but you know Prachodaya they are speaking. You know the meaning of Prachodaya? What is the meaning of this Prachodaya? Prachodaya? What is the meaning? You only recite. Prachodaya means I like to get inspiration from Bhargodeva. Bhargodeva. Follow. I like to get inspiration from Bhagavan. Detail meaning I cannot speak openly. It's not good. Gayatri Bhakya is very nice. So, we need inspiration to do good work. That's why always we are seeking, ins seeking inspiration from that absolute truth, Bhagavan. According to your previous saskar, you are not, suppose you are not doing Gayatri. Suppose everybody not doing Gayatri. Everybody doing Gayatri? Not. But they are also getting inspiration. If you say no, are without inspiration, without inspiration, why they are doing anything? Of course, inspiration there. If motive is not there, any action you are doing, if behind this action, if there is no motive, it is useless. Why you are doing? It's not good. So motive must be there. Inspiration must be there. Without inspiration, you are not doing. You like to sing Kirtan. You like to do Kirtan. You like to hear Harikatha. You like to go to Parikrama. Inspiration coming. Durjodhan also getting inspiration. But is not getting good inspiration. <coughs> Durjodhan not getting good because his sanskar is bad. Nah? Sanskar is bad. According to Sanskar, he is getting his, I mean, all directly, indirectly done by Bhagavan. Durjodhan getting inspiration from Maya. Maya who? Bhagavan. Durjodhan getting inspiration, Bhatirik way, indirectly, from Maya. And devotees, they are getting inspiration from Bhagavan directly. He was putting question just one, two hours before when I was coming, that why it is so? Sometimes, Jogumaya, they are also helping us. But Jogumaya, this meaning is also, I can come back to the, uh, my topic. I can come back, uh, this answer I must give. What do you mean by Jogumaya? Jogumaya mean, to get, but Jogumaya mean, Jogumaya mean, the meaning of Jogumaya mean, he can add. Jog mean plus, plus mean na? additional alteration. <laughs> Addition and, and subtraction, you say. Jogumaya can help my connection with Bhagavan. That is the why the name of Jogumaya is Jogumaya. He is asking, sometimes Jogumaya can help us, Sadhu Sangha, everything, and sometimes uh, Balaram Nityananda can help us. So, what is the link? Both of them, so what is the actual link? What is actually link? Jogma is the Jogma is the Sakti of Bhagavan, internal potency, and Balaram is the first expansion of Bhagavan. Balaram is the first expansion of Bhagavan, and Jogma is the internal potency of Bhagavan. 
Balaram is the first exp expansion of Bhagavan. And from Balaram, all Guru Tattva coming. From Balaram, all Guru Tattva coming. So he is asking, then wh what, is the, what is the function of Jogumaya? He is asking. So I am bound to say, you can remember many times I told before, because I speak what Prabhupada told, not making any philosophy out of my own. I told you many times that Bhaddaji can never get kipa of Aprakita Jagat out of his personal effort. In the beginning also I told. Then how they can get kipa? If they cannot get kipa from Bhagavan directly, how they can get kipa? What is the way out? Because in Kirtan also we know. Vaishnaviru Avedane Krishna Dayamoy Ehano Pamor Puti Hoivinsu. In bonded condition, our prayer cannot reach up to Bhagavan. So, via, if I pray to my Guru Maharaj, if my Guru Maharaj is praying to Bhagavan, then the prayer can go. Because I am in inert condition, almost inert. You can find the symptom of life, but it is an inert condition. It is called. Because Prabhupada Saraswati Bhad already told, Achaitanya Midam Visham Jadi Chaitanya Misharam Na Viduhu Achaitanya Midam Visham The whole world is devoid of Chetana. Prabhupada Saraswati Bhad. This is not the symptom of Chetana. They are running, doing office, this, this is not. Symptom of Chetana is devotion, not there. So Prabhupada Saraswati Bhad writing, Prabhupada Saraswati Bhad writing, Achaitanya midam visham jadi chaitanya misvaram na viduhu sarva sastraggo vi brahmanti te jana. Even after knowing all sastra, no attention to Bhagavan, so then whole world is like inert object. Inert object. Sankuti, it is written in Dharma, you can find. According to the gate, According to, according to the grade of expression of Chetana, different gradation there. G gradation there, na? Eh? Of Prakasito Chetan, Shankuchito Chetan, Vikasito Chetan, Mukulito Chetan, Purna Vikasito, different kind of way. Trees and plants, their Chetana is there, but in covering. Trees are also living object, living thing. But stone also, actually, Prabhupada Saraswati was speaking, if there is no, no love for Chaitanya Mahapu, no devotional mood for Chaitanya Mahapu, then whole world can be compared with an inert object. So now I can come to this question. Prabhupada told, Bhagavad Kipa can never come directly to us. Bhagavad Kipa can never come to us directly. Bhagavad Kipa can come to us through Tat Prakash and Tat Sakti. You forget. Bhagavad Kipa can come to us through Tat Prakash and Tat Sakti. Meaning, Bhagavad Prakash Vigra and Shakti Vigra also. Shakti Vigra also. So you can accept Shakti. Try to understand what is the link. Shakti is also Guru. Shakti is also Guru. Be because I told yesterday Kitan, na? Kulo Devi Jogumaya Moriki Pakuri, Abaran Sangburi Betumi Vishodori, Sunachi Agam Bede Mahima Tomar, Sikishna Vimukhedori, Korao Sangsar, Sikishna Sanmuk Kojar, Bhagakore Hoi, Tare Mukti, Diakaro, Oshokobhai. Niskavato He Mata Amapanchai. Tale Shakti also can act as Guru. Not that Sakti can never act as Guru. I never told. I wrote that article that Mataji is due to some uncertain condition should not act as Acharya. Bhakti Muttak told. I never told. They are useless. They, I never told. Sometime if they can go out of, out of material dharma beyond this body limit like Janavata, uh, Ganga Mata Thakurani, eh? Hemlata Thakurani, they are beyond limit, body limit. Otherwise, they cannot act. 
And as a Jun, Bhaktivinoda was speaking, it is not appropriate. But if somebody starts fighting, what I can do? I never told Matajis can never act as a Jun. I told due to some, some of certain, certain, some of certain reason, they should not act as Ashari. I told him. Bhaktivinoda wrote in, is Chaitanya Sikshamrita. I, because they don't believe, I mark it and show them. Copy and show them. And different judgment I told. So, Shakti Tattva also is Guru. Especially when Radharani is the Guru. Radharani is Shakti Tattva. So, Shakti Tattva also can act as Guru. And the original Guru is Radharani. So, how we can say, even the Guru of Krishna is Radharani. Even the Guru of Krishna is Radharani. So, how I can say? So, that is the link. So, Bhagavan can come in the form of fast expansion and from fast expansion, Anantadev Paluram, Guru Tattva, all Guru can come. Your Guru, my Guru, this Guru, all the Sadguru, they are coming in the form of Sadguru. They can also, Shakti Tattva also, but it is, usually it is not seen, but Shakti Tattva has also can act as Guru, that is the condition. So anyway, so, man buddhi chitto ahankar. So, intellect, a mind is in confusing condition. Mind is always in confusion. Sometimes take a decision, making and breaking, making and breaking. And that decision making factor is lying with intellect, buddhi. So, Durjodhan is contaminated with Maya. His heart is dirty. According to that, he is getting inspiration to do dirty works. If you are getting, doing Bhagavad Seva, Guru Seva, Vaishnav Seva, you can get right inspiration. Everybody cannot get right inspiration. Everybody cannot get right inspiration. Everybody cannot. Somebody getting inspiration. Uh, mixing with Maya. Somebody can getting inspiration mixing with Maya. Somebody can get inspiration by Maya. Somebody can get inspiration mixing with Maya. Uh, some, some ideas there. He is hearing Harikata something appropriate. Oh, it must be this. His mind is not pure. So he is going to mix with Maya like Popa told, like Popa many times told. Somebody is somebody praying to Bhagavan. Bhagavan, you come to me, but you come mixing with Maya. Otherwise, like in tea, in tea and coffee, if you mix some sugar, it becomes tasty. Prabhupada speaking, Maya, Bhagavan can never come. Bhagavan can never come mixing with Maya. Bhagavan can never come mixing with Maya. So somebody getting inspiration, by Maya, due to their dirty sanskar, somebody developing some, some good sanskar, some good, like Satavun developing good sanskar. Then you can take decision, do anything. You can get inspiration, mixing way. Not appropriate. Some mixing. Some Maya is also some. But you cannot take decision. Some Maya, some right. But when you are going up to that level, by chanting Gayatri Mantra day, by chanting Gayatri Mantra, by chanting Harinam Mahamantra, when you can go up to that level, I mean all anartha, all anartha clear from your life, totally. In that case, surely we cannot expect that you can get guidance from Maya. That time, Bhagavan can directly give you inspiration. Bhagavan not giving direct, in, direct inspiration to everybody. When you are up to that level, automatically your platform is okay. Bhagavan is in this platform, you are also. In that case, you can feel each and every action, each and every of your decision, action, you can discover totally guided by Bhagavan himself. So anyway, now, uh, man buddhi chitta ahankar. Uh, ahankar is also there. Two type of ahankar, two type of chitta, two type of mind, two type of all two type. One is pure, one is contaminated. 
one is contaminated, one is pure. So, this uh, in bonded condition, whatever you do, you are guided by your mind, intellect, or man buddhi chittwang. Even in, even in pure devotee, they have ego. Without ego, nobody living. That is called pure ego, like Hanumanji Maharaj, when he was asked by Ravan, Who are you? He was keeping silence. He took, what answer I can give? And Sita Devi came in fine form and speaking, Why not you say you are the servant of Ram? Then Hanumanji speaking, I am the servant of Ram, Shevak of Ram. Then Ravan started laughing. I thought you were so powerful, so capacity. You were so powerful, I thought you were the, you, you must be one king of some country. But you, I discovered you are the servant of Ra Well, yes, I am the servant of Ram, Paratpara, Kileshwar, Bhagavan. And you are the servant of Maya Devi. You are servant of Maya Devi. I am not servant like you. I am the servant of Ram. There is the difference. So, those who are pure devotee, they have pure ego. Ego must be there. Without your, your, devo, your devoteeship, your devoteeship, how you can maintain? Without, without ego, how you can maintain your devoteeship? I am the servant of Bhagavan. This is also ego. But difference is that false ego is dirty and pure ego is good. Similarly, intellect, many sloka I can speak from. From Bhagavatam, you can say, Mano Rathena Asato Dhavato Bhai. This sloka, your mind is dirty. That's why you are sitting in the chariot of mind and running there. Asati eh? Mati, in Bhagavatam, Asati Mati also written. Asati Mati, and as Mati is actually, Mati is actually, Feminine gender. So, Asati Muti means Besha, like Raghunath Das Gosai also writing. Raghunath Das Gosai also writing. So, this way, first of all, Hangsa, I mean, our uh, Bhagavan coming in the form of Hangsa and asking their, your question is appropriate or not, you first think out. Because in the infinity world, where, wherever, whatever, wherever, whatever you, we see is all one and single object. That is called Brahma Vastu. If one and the single object in the infinity world, then who you and who, am, who I am? This who are you, this question is not appropriate for you. Because in whole infinity world, there is one and single Tattva, that is Brahma Tattva. If you realize, because Sanukadi Rishi, they are well aware about Brahma Tattva. But if you are aware about Brahma Tattva, then this kind of question is, unusual question is coming. After that, Hangsa Bhagavan started describing gradually. <coughs> Just the example I told, like with water, oil can never be mixed. Oil can never be mixed. Bhagavan already told to Uddhav that your pure Atma has nothing to do it with mind and intellect. All title, Bhagavan speaking, all your chitta, all your, all your intellect, all your mind, all different kind of title given to you by Mayadeva. For the time being, you are, grand, you are grandfather, you are also father of the son. I write, it's okay, but it's one kind of title. Your father, this is one title given to you. Actually, Atma has no title. What title? Atma has no title. That's why Bhagavan speaking to Uddhav, that matter is matter, and your intellect, your mind, your chitta, all matter. Atma is not going to cooperate. Atma is separately there. Only by the covering of Maya, 
paro opi manute anarthan tat kitan chabi paddhati. That's a sloka, you know. Paro opi manute. Atma is absolute vastu. But still, due to the covering of maya, he is going to confuse that the pain and pleasure, what is happening with the body and mind, atma going to accept is a mind. Jaya sanmahita jaga. Jaya sanmahitam jaga. Vaisdev Goswami, in front of Vaisdev Goswami, Bhagavan came, appeared, Vaisdev Goswami, Saraswati Nadi. First you can go to first canto. At the bank of Saraswati Nadi, is sitting and thinking, why I am feeling dissatisfaction? Then Naraji came, I am not going in detail. But the question of Naraji was very strange. First question of Naraji was very strange. Naraji asking, do you feel okay? Your Atma, a strange question. Your Atma feeling okay? Your, your Atma feeling okay with your, with your mind and intellect? What is this question? If you are putting question to somebody, how are you? You can speak. But Naraji very technically putting this question. Naraji speaking that how you feel, how your Atma feel with mind and intellect. This question, after that so many questions arise. After that by the advice, I am not going into detail. By the advice of Naraji Maharaj, he was concentrating to do something. Then he could see clearly Bhagavan appear and backside Bhagavan, backside Bhagavan, Maya Devi. Maya with folded hand, bent head. Jan Maya Mahitam Jagat. By the Maya, this is that Maya, folding hand, backside. That is a shadow of that Yoga Maya. Shadow of that yoga maya. That is the shadow of that yoga. So, the question of Naruji is very strange. Similarly, Atma, about Atma, Bhagavan speaking, Paro Opi Manute Anartham. Though Anartha is related with body and, body and mind. But still, due to covering of maya, Atma for the time being in confusion. Oh, I am very sorry, he ins insult me, she insult me, she honor me. I am in bad condition, is confusion. Atma, in pure condition, you can find, Atma has nothing to do. Okay, I can discuss all in details tomorrow about this point. Uh, so, up to this point, you, tomorrow I can discuss all in details about Hamsag. It is called Hamsagita. Vipado naiva vipado, Shampado naiva shampado, Vipado ho visvaranam vishnu, Shampado narayana sriti, Vancha kalpaduru sikipasindu vivach, Patitanang pavanibho, Vaishnavyo namun.